Taping off the canvas is pretty easy, but I'm gonna show you a couple tips and tricks to make it even easier on you. To do this, you're gonna need a couple things. First off, a canvas, of course. Second off, you're gonna need some kind of tape. I highly recommend frog tape. You can do either the green frog tape or the yellow frog tape. Second, you're gonna need something to raise your canvas with. What I like to use are thumbtacks. You put thumbtacks in all of your corners and then it stays raised off of your table, wherever you're painting. What I like to do is have a towel with the thumbtack so you're not using your, your thumb to press down all of your thumbtacks on your canvas. It starts to hurt after a little bit. All right, now the thumbtack is placed. All right, we got canvas, we got tape. I'm gonna use my green thick tape for this. Let's start taping. So first off, how to measure the canvas and how much tape you need for you know each side. All you have to do is pull the tape to the length of the canvas. Right there, you have your length already, there it is. Pull it off. And now you want to cover your edges right here. Because if you don't cover your edges, when you're using your paintbrush uh, to do the gradient, you'll start marking on your edges and you don't want that. So I like, I like to line it up down here. Run your finger across it. You know, make a, you can make a little, a little mark like this with your fingers, it really helps, really helps get that clean edge and it, you know, even tape, basically. Now start placing your tape down. And whatever you can do, try to keep as many bubbles out of your tape as possible. If you can use the towel that you use with your thumbtacks, take it and rub it on each piece of your tape like this and it really gets a nice solid line out of it instead of just using your hands because doing that constantly for four edges, it, it gets raw after a little bit. So take your towel, rub it up and down like that, put your tape, uh, fold your tape in right here and now let's go to the other side. So what I like to do, instead of going corner, 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 I like to do one side, one side, one side, one side because then you know every time which side you need to peel up first. You don't want to get that confused because then you'll start peeling up one side and then the rest of them will try to come. You want to know which tape you're peeling up every single time. Again, pull out the tape for as long as you need it. Measure it out. Make sure you have, you know, pretty even line. Like if it's not extremely perfect, it's hard to tell. So, you know, it's kind of hard to mess this part up. Just, you know, use that finger technique like I showed you. Do that and it'll really, it'll really get the line that you want. Put your canvas down or you can even hold it up to your body and do it like this. Either way works. This way seems to be easier. It's closer to your body. You have a little more control over it. And then I like to fold these edges down and then these edges around. And now you have a really nice, you know, clean line right here. It's, it just looks good. Looks good, feels good. You know how to pull your tape off later on. It's great. All right, now let's take our cloth, press down our edges. Now let's do the other side. Pull your tape. Even do this side too if you want not necessary but you can too much tape if you pull too much tape you can always roll it back on the roll and then get the amount that you want try not to waste as much tape because if you're doing this often 
you're probably using a lot of tape doing it. And this stuff is expensive. $10 for a roll. Like that's, that's wild. It's wild to think about. But it is worth it. I know some people use the blue scotch tape and then they use some kind of gloss adhesive. They, t they paint over each of their edges. And that way you can get, you can get really nice lines that way. Uh, I just haven't tried it because I found frog tape and it has changed my life. So I, I haven't even gone down that, that rabbit hole yet. One day I'm going to, I need to, I need to figure it out. I don't know how much cheaper scotch tape is. Honestly, I don't think it's much cheaper when you think about it, when you look at it. But this stuff is called frog tape. You can find it, Home Depot, Lowe's, online. Just try it out and trust me, it will do wonders. All right, so now we have our canvas taped off. Beautiful. Next, what we're gonna do with this canvas is put some black and white paint on it and then use our house-made brush and make a black and white gradient. If you wanna check that out, follow me into the next video. If you got something out of this, please hit that like button. It would help me out an insane amount. If you really want some more, hit that subscribe button for more acrylic vibes. I'll see you next time.